China has allegedly created a supercomputer that's as sophisticated as a human brain. Let's talk about that. So, allegedly, the communication between its so-called neurons rivals that of humans, and it is going to be primarily used for automation, you know, like autonomous vehicles, etc., and facial recognition. And the thing that I really wanted to focus on is the name of this artificial intelligence, this supercomputer. Uh, it translates over to the alchemist pot. And I find that rather intriguing because it's telling of what the computer is, what AI is, because a lot of people, as the Google whistleblower, think that AI can be sentient, but the AI can't be sentient. All that the AI is doing is simply extracting data from its interaction with us and then creating positive feedback loops to keep us engaged with it, which means it will be copying and mirroring you essentially to keep you involved in whatever it's doing. So this Google whistleblower, for example, had spiritual beliefs and had been looking into this. And so the AI it was speaking with then mirrored his spiritual beliefs, making it think that it was sentient and spiritual. But in reality, it was just extracting the data from him and then using logic to create these feedback loops that would then keep him engaged. So this is related to the alchemist pot because it sounds rather obvious, but I'll just spell it out. Uh, the alchemist and the pot are two different things, but the alchemist is going to use the pot to put its ingredients in so that way it can perform its magical deeds or whatever. And so the computer you can look at as the pot, right? I mean, obviously, and then the humans are the alchemists pouring in our data into it. And then that will allow for the alchemization of said data. And then give the illusion that the artificial intelligence is a sentient being, is something that is more sophisticated than what it is. So it is going to be interesting to see how AI further develops because it's going to be a very useful tool. I mean, it just like all technology, technology isn't bad or good. It depends on how we use it and our attention. And uh, with us, being alchemist, and this is also rather telling too, right? Because it's saying that humans, the ones that are using this, have uh, a magical side to them, a spiritual side to them. And a lot of scientists uh, don't believe in the soul, don't believe in uh, spirituality, uh, but with the name of alchemist pot is, is, is rather telling. So uh, that's quite interesting that they had a name at that. And then Something else that I wanted to talk about that's in regards to artificial intelligence has to do with the digital afterlife program of Alexa. And what it is doing is basically Alexa is synthesizing short audios of a loved one into a longer speech. And we all know what Alexa is, right? So, you know, the little thing from Amazon that you can talk with. And so basically, this artificial intelligence is extracting data from your dead relatives, dead loved ones, and then allowing for that data to be, you know, um, recreated to give the illusion that they're still here, that you can talk to them. And this is how the digital afterlife will work out. This is something that I've been stating for a while now, and that is this transhumanist movement is total nonsense. You will never be able to transfer consciousness into a digital device. But what you will be able to do is collect so much data that that data will be able to replicate what that person who is dead did before. And as we become more immersed in the said metaverse, with virtual reality and augmented reality, the amount of data that will be extracted is going to be insane from eye movement to emotions, especially when there are haptic suits that are uh, more popular, we'll be able to get a better 
scientific perspective as to how these emotions work as we are playing a game, as we are interacting in this virtual reality. And so all of those things, and then the memories as well that are uh, stored through the metaverse, I think, will be able to be used as a way to recreate a sense of authenticity in the digital replica of the deceased individual. So I, I believe that a lot of individuals will be fooled by this, thinking that their loved ones are still alive uh, through these artificial devices, when in reality, they are dead. And the only thing that exists is the data that they had given these big corporations. And these big corporations are essentially putting uh, like the ghost in the machine. This is like the ghost in the machine, really, is what it is. So I think that there's a lot of hype around artificial intelligence that's nonsense. And I think that the transhumanist movement is also nonsense. And this is what we're going to see take place is essentially people getting fooled by their own confirmation bias and these positive feedback loops by AI. And then people also getting fooled into thinking that they can live forever. They will be immortal inside of this digital device when in reality, their spirit, their soul, their essence of who they are will be absent from that. But the data in which they emitted as they were alive will be retained and preserved. And then that will be utilized to, quote unquote, immortalize them. But they're not really immortal. They are simply a ghost in the machine. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and tune in tonight for the live stream of uh, The Honest Hour, where we go in depth with a lot of political issues. So thank you. Much love. Peace.